Jeremy Fletcher uses his phone to take pictures of the countryside, even in his lunch hour. But it was while he was taking an evening stroll on the seashore at Snettersham in Norfolk that he noticed a godlike figure staring back at him from the clouds. Divine proof, maybe? After the first two or three, I, I looked at what I had on my phone and I couldn't believe the image that was on there. It was so clearly a face in the sky looking straight back at me. As the Lord took delight in doing it good and multiplying it, so the Lord will take delight in bringing ruin upon you and destroying it. And you shall be plucked off the land that you are entering to take possession of. Because they have forsaken my law that I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice but walked in accord with it, but have stubbornly followed their own hearts, and have gone and failed as their fathers taught them, and went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they had not known, and whom he had not allotted to them. Therefore the anger of the world is kindled against this land, bringing upon it all the curses written in this book. Therefore the Lord declares, the Lord of heaven, I speak unto thee this day, and I say that I the living God never intended that men would be bowing to idols and worshipping the same. That is, that they would be far from me by serving that which is nothing but a configuration and imagination and imitation that leads to death. And I say, when men will turn aside from me to take up idols, I say they are grossly offending me. For I say they are saying that it is better to serve the gods of death rather than me, the living God. Now I say you are living in a time when multitudes have given themselves over to worship the gods, the idols of the heathen, and what do they gain? I say they gain the way of despair, they gain the way of depression, and the damnation of their own souls. For I say while they abandon themselves to the folly of their spiritual whoredom and think they can go on forever in the same, I say they are nothing but thick-headed fools. For I say they are choosing the way of death over the way of life that I provide. Now I say it is me, the living God, who has intended that the ones who use my name would do so in truth and sincerity before me. That is, not using my name in vain for their own little play, their own little show, and their own proud parade. But I say that I've intended that men and women would know what it is to truly love me, to fear me, and desire to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I intend that the ones who name my name would walk uprightly. But I say, because you are living in a time when men are full of adultery on every hand and going after everything that comes along, what do they prove? I say they prove they are unworthy, they prove they are unfaithful, and I say they prove they are fools. But I say, nonetheless, it is me, the living God, who is giving forth the call for all men to repent, to return, to run into me. That is, that they can indeed be spared from the futility of their own way and remain in my way. For I say, when I, the living God, do give forth the call of repentance, revolution, it is that men and women would obey the same. That is, that they would come forth uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. That they would indeed be thankful to be able to repent, to be restored, and to walk thoroughly in me. That is, because they have repented of the darkness, the sin, the evil, the iniquity that they have been in. Now I say this day that I, the living God, absolutely do not find pleasure in those who will scoff and mock my way, even though they claim my name. For I say that a man by his misconduct is literally scoffing me when he parades himself to the world. And I say there are endless multitudes of those who claim that they are my people who are not seeking to please me. But I say instead they are wallowing and walking in worldliness, ungodliness, all manner of filthiness and loving itself. Now I say this day that I, living God, do not call you to walk afar off. I do not call you to wallow in the world and be overwhelmed in filth of the same. But I say that I call you to walk circumspectly in me, ever seeking to please me day by day. 
And I say that I call the ones who will love me to deep repentance, revolution in me. For I say that it will take the engraving upon their hearts to see the error of their way. That is, as they yield themselves over to repent and repent and repent, they will find they are absolutely guilty before me. And yes, they will find that it is me, the living God alone, who is sufficient in mercy to forgive their sin. Now I say this day that I, the loving God, intend that men would walk uprightly each day, that they would be seeking to please me and be guided forth by me. And I say that I do intend that the ones who are mine would keep their vision single that is ever upon me, for it is me they are meant to please. For I say, when the ones who love me will walk uprightly in me, they are ever guided forth by me. And yes, they are given the blessedness, the strength, the truth, and the purpose that I provide. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad that it is me that you can continue to look to, that you can continue to believe, to trust, to obey, and follow after. And I say, be thankful that as you will continue in the way of my life, the way of my truth, and the way of my mercy, then you are brought forth by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the light each and every day, for it is me, the living God, who gives to thee the same. And I say, it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be brought forth by a plain path, ever uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say, therefore, this day, let it be me that you will continue to look unto, that you will continue to believe, to trust, to obey, for I am the one who gives to you the way of eternal life. And I say, when it is me that you purpose yourselves to please and obey, when it is me that you follow after each day, then I say you are given the hope of who I am. But I say, when you go whoring, take up the ways of the ungodly heathen, and love it so, then you prove you are not worthy of me. And I say, you prove you are a deceiver, a faker, a pretender, a hypocrite, and your heart is far from me. Now I say, when you have indeed been shown up to be what you are, you are desperately needy of repentance in your life. Because if you do not repent, then hell is the inevitable that awaits you in the way. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give forth the call to repentance, and men will obey the same, then they are guided forth by me. But I say when men will stubbornly, proudly refuse to repent and imagine they are all right, they deceive themselves. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do look upon the condition throughout the earth that men are in, and I say it is a sad thing to behold. That is, that men have grown so proud, so haughty, so full of boredom and wine, that they cannot keep themselves in me. But I say, they ogle the ways of the heathen, they are envious of the wickedness of the wicked, and I say, they are devoured by vice. For I say, they have chosen those things that are ugly, perverse, and wickedness in my sight, and they love it so. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called thee to go whoring from me, to walk in the way of a fool, and likewise be overwhelmed. But I say that I've called thee to be thankful each day, that you are given the truth and the light, the mercy, the strength, and the peace always. And I say that I've called you to be thankful each day, that it is me that you can continue to look unto and believe. For I say it is me, the living God alone, of all the gods you are meant to please, to serve, to obey, and follow after. Therefore I say, continue as a steadfast people who are ever trusting, believing, and hoping in me. And I say, continue to partake of what it is that I give to thee time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will give you the truth, the light, the mercy, the peace, and the hope. Be thankful for the same. And it is me, the living God, who will forgive you when you repent and keep yourself in humility before me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will show my light upon the path. I will give forth my truth and my mercy time and again. And I say that I will direct, correct, and instruct the ones who believe, who trust, who hope in me. Therefore I say when you look upon what it is that I offer and provide, know it is the way of newness of life. And I say, when you look upon what it is that I intend, I say it is the way of my hope, my peace, my safety provided. 
Now I say, therefore, this day, consider that it is me that you can continue to believe, to trust, to obey, and follow after. And I say, likewise, be thankful that I am the one who gives you the way wherein you can be guided day by day. For I say, when you will indeed seek to please me, obey me, and come forth in me, then I say that you will obey my commands to thee. But I say, when you seek for other gods, other lovers, I say you are a disgrace to my name. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, am giving forth the call to all men to repent. And I say, when men will obey and follow after me through repentance, revolution, then I say they are guided forth in newness of life. But I say, when men will harden themselves, imagine they are all right while they play their games, while they do their foolish and sinful acts, while they commit spiritual whoredom against me, I say they deceive themselves. For I say they have convinced themselves through their own lies and hypocrisies that they are all right when it absolutely is not true. For I say when men are choosing to be losing by ogling the gods of the heathen and committing themselves to transgression with the same, then I say they are damning their own souls. For I say that I, the living God, am not mocked, and when those who claim they love me are bowing to idols, are worshipping the ways of uncleanness, perversion, and abomination, I say they are literally proving it is not me that they love. And I say, even though they may speak my sounding phrases, I say that their hearts are far from my way. For I say they have chosen to go in the way of fools they have chosen, to go in the way of that which is unclean, vile, and perverse, and all the while they are claiming they love me. But I say it is obvious by their exhibition of lust for the world that it is not me that they love. Now I say this day, if the man will truly be repentant and truly love me, then I say that he will seek to keep himself from me. That is, not giving himself over to all manner of uncleanness, but rather walking in my life and being made glad, ever thankful for the privilege to believe, to receive, and come forth in me, and being made glad for the privilege to live in repentance, revolution, the humility way of my life. Now I say this day, when you look upon what it is that I, the living God, do offer, what it is that I give to my own, I say, be thankful each day unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness, blessedness, truth, and hope, and mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, correct, and guide forth the people who cleave to me. For I say, it is me, the living God, alone of all the gods who is able. Therefore I say, believe. That is, believe upon me, trust in me, and be ever guided forth by me, for I am thy God. And I say, when you consider the amount of mercy that I give each and every day, I say, be thankful to partake of the same. That is, be thankful to partake of the goodness, the truth, and the light that I give thee, because you are mine. And I say, be thankful that I bring thee forth rejoicing and uplifted in me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, will give you tender mercy, I say that I will give you loving kindness in the way wherein you are meant to walk. Therefore I say, be rejoicing for the privilege to believe, the privilege to receive, and be guided by me. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who is the way of eternal life that you are meant to believe in and obey. For I say, you are not meant to be giving yourselves to the gods of the dead, the heathen, that will only damn your soul. Nor are you meant to play the harlot, the whore on me by giving yourself over to that which I have forbidden unto thee. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad that I am ever present to guide thee forth, that I am ever present to refresh thee in life as you repent unto me. And I say, be thankful that you can continue to repent and turn from any and all evils that are revealed in your life, that you will be found agreeable and acceptable unto me and ever guided in my way, that you will be made of people to be well-pleasing unto me. For I say, there are literally few who are pleasing me in these days of wanton and careless fools who are living in adultery than claiming they love me. For I say, it is not what a man will claim that I look upon, 
But I say, who is it that he commits himself unto? And I say, when a man is committed to sin and to sin and to sin, he is absolutely not committed unto me. But I say that he's taking the way of delusion which will damn his soul. I say, be straight and true with me, ever guided forth and directed by me. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. Commanded by God. You're commanded by God to repent. You're commanded by God.